Parking the colossal Airbus A380 is a precise job, and the Super Jumbo can only fly to certain airports owing to its size. Even then, the allocation of a large enough gate is paramount. You can never be too careful with such matters, and this recently led to confusion in Toronto after an Emirates Airbus A380 touched down. Emirates Flight EK241 is a regular service from the airline's hub at Dubai International Airport to Canada's largest and busiest airport, Toronto Pearson International. According to RadarBox.com, Emirates operates flight EK241 five times a week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The flight has a scheduled duration of 14 hours with an 0800 local time departure from Dubai. After an extensive journey across the Middle East, Europe and the Atlantic Ocean, flight EK241 should touch down in Toronto at 1400. Emirates doesn't have a monopoly on this route as Canadian flag carrier Air Canada also flies directly between the two airports as well. After a long journey over from Dubai, crews operating flight EK241 will likely want to park their A380 quickly to get some well-earned rest. However, as a mid-October recording shows, a recent iteration of the flight had to wait a little longer. The cause for the delay was confusion over the suitability of the allocated gate. In the recording, EK241 received directions to gate C-34 on the day in question. Aerotelegraph reported that Emirates has been flying the A380 to Toronto for months and noted that this allocation was unusual. The suitability of the taxiways leading to the gate also came into question. Indeed, one of the flight's pilots said the following to air traffic control. My paperwork shows that the taxiways in that direction are all red for us, not approved. The sea gate is not approved for us. We're going to need a follow me and wing walkers if you want us to park over there. A tense standoff followed with the A380 applying its brakes until ATC could give answers. After being handed over to the apron's frequency, it became clear that it would be safe to park at the sea gates after all. This is because the full gate name was in fact C-34A, which the apron frequency explained is suitable for the A380 if neither of the adjacent ones are in use. Those familiar with the layout of Toronto Pearson International Airport will know that Emirates uses YYZ's Terminal 1, however the sea gates are part of Terminal 3. This begs the question as to why the A380 was sent there even with C-34A being a suitable gate for the Super Jumbo. The decision was a result of congestion, with the apron explaining, They did want us to have you guys over there as well, and I think they're just doing that because of congestion for international arrivals. What do you make of this occurrence? Have you ever come across similar confusion regarding a gate allocation? Let us know your thoughts and experiences in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.